And greetings, greetings, everybody. Welcome back. Happy Monday. It is I, Vormthrax, here to play some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Brand new challenge. Yay, my favorite part. Start of a brand new challenge. Always, always, always my favorite part. <laughs> always will be. Not going to change. Oh, let's see. Let's let's just get settled in for a little bit. <laughs> Gaze in wonder at the, uh, the, the ridiculous character build for this new challenge. While I go post some uh, some some announcements, do, do, do. hey people, Ormothrax is on the internet talking his talking his talk. Do, do, do. And that one as well. All right, we're all set. Okay, and make sure we've got plenty of zombie dogs loaded up. Ah, ah, I think we're all set. Now I'll just sit here quietly while, uh, you know, people arrive. <laughs> Turn off my, uh, my phone's ringer. Grab my bottle of vodka. Mm. Ah. Ah. There at my bald dog. Hey there, bald dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're bald. You look silly. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, Silver Knight and Drunken Suicider Eyes Bear. I assume that's how that's pronounced. I'm guessing. Claws Lord, Waxy Crutch. Oh, and assorted other folks. <clears throat> uh oh it approaches the bald beastie <laughs> oh you big silly dog he got butchered by a, a really bad dog groomer today just horrible horrible dog groomer terrible service don't recommend huh Ah, you didn't like it either, did you? <laughs> Poor zombie dog. Nah, not insane hard. It's got its difficulties, and we'll see how it goes difficulty-wise. Uh, the 4X uh, evolution speed on a build that's going to take time to get rolling could be, could be bad. You know, could be bad. Hey, buddy. <laughs> no, nah, you didn't. We have a uh, a lady named Mandy Dwyer with three day stubble, an afro, and light skin. Yes. What, zombie dog? What do you want? Sorry, you can't have your hair back. That's gone. It's all gone. Starting to get warm outside. Had to shave you. <laughs> oh, yeah, zombie dog got a haircut. He got shaved. Got a trash bag full of dog hair off of him. He looks about half the size he used to. Huh. Yeah, you prefer it, though. <laughs> He's got a terrible groomer. Some some really bad person named Varmithrax. <clears throat> Takes a shaver to him every once in a while. I do not recommend Varmithrax to groom your pets. Ugh. Don't worry. In a few weeks, nobody will notice. <laughs> Yeah, I shaved him down, then took him out in the backyard and hosed him off. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's talk about the character bit. I think there's been enough time. Let's see. We'll check a couple things real quick. <clears throat> yeah, we're fine. Okay, so new challenge time. Like I said, always my favorite. Uh, we are playing Mouse Rat. 
Mass Rat is the challenge. We are Mandy Dwyer, a, a musician, a troubled musician. You know, it's amazing how many troubled characters I play, Zombie Dog. <laughs> They're all troubled. They're all troubled. Yes, they all have issues. So, uh, yeah, we are, uh, we're, we're going to play Mouse Rat, and um, the challenge is to become, you know, a, a mouse and a rat. That, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that describes it. That's the elevator pitch. We are going to be a mouse rat. Uh, which one I go post threshold in, uh, I don't know yet. Probably rat, but maybe we can finagle the mouse in there. We'll see. Um, I got some ideas on how I want to approach it. Uh, we are doing a lab challenge, lab patient start. Uh, so unwilling mutants, all that good stuff. I tried to build the character with as many of the traits that were inherent to the mutations as possible. So instead of downing a dose of serum or mutagen like I sometimes do, we'll just go with the negative mutations and whatever few positive ones I could fit in, like whiskers and sweet tooth. Um, flimsy is part of that line, light sensitive, strong scent, fast metabolism, addictive personality. I tried to take as many of them as I could and then fit in one or two others that I think would just be, you know, helpful in keeping me alive. Um, we're going somewhat, somewhat, somewhat counter to the theme. If, if you know the source material, <laughs> I don't think Mandy, if we were accurately, uh, representing, uh, Mandy's intellectual capabilities that, uh, this would be the number people would choose, but, um, you know, I gotta have some way of getting out of this lab. So we're going to go with the intelligence computers route for this run. And, um, yeah. So like I said, I tried to pick as many things as I could that fit into the, uh, the style. I got some, some really good ideas on how we're going to try to bootstrap, uh, survivability. Notice I do not have any combat abilities, no martial arts, no, um, no unarmed, no, no, none of that stuff. So going to be interesting if I can survive initially. Flimsy is going to hurt us. That's uh, a lot less hit points. Um, yeah. So uh, getting out of the lab, I'm, I'm wondering, actually, it occurred to me with lab starts, with the drastic reduction in the number of labs, does that mean there's going to be a drastic increase in the number of research facility starts? Did they mess with the research facility numbers or are there the same number of those? Because it seems like by lowering the general lab count, they've probably increased the number of times you're going to find yourself at the bottom of a research facility. Which is good in this circumstance if you're trying to do a lab escape and you don't have a particular idea in mind of how you're going to get out. It's always good if you know the game to uh, have, have a plan for how you're going to get out of the lab. But if it's a research facility, you don't really need a plan. <laughs> there's there's no exit turret. There's no key card required. So you freeze the character up a bit. So we'll see. We'll see. Depends on which one we get. Uh, but we're just doing a science lab start. Not ice lab or bottom of or anything like that. We'll just go the standard science lab. Uh, but then I have ideas. I have things I want to try to do in this one. Uh, things I have discovered. And some of the uh, Discord folks know what I am might be referring to in regards to a place I might want to go <laughs> for this particular challenge. And uh, see what kind of entertaining fun we can have there. Um. So yeah. Uh, it's going to be a lot of me trying not to get hit. That's that's what I'm trying to tell you. So I don't really have a, a big combat focus on this character at this point. We're going to need to go get a martial art. We're going to need to go train up our, our combat skills. And we're going to have to get a boatload of mutations. And there, there are some things I think I can do. So we'll see. What do Whiskers do mechanically? They give you a little bit better dodge. <clears throat> that's pretty much it. <laughs> little bit of dodge. So we're, we're pretty stacked on dodge. I'm really hoping I, I couldn't push it any further skill point wise because I needed to get to six computers. That doesn't leave a lot of points in that category. So and I needed to uh, to just cram as much dodge in there as, as I could. But we should still have a pretty, pretty high effective dodge right from the start between the whiskers and the um, fast reflexes. Uh, and if we we keep our clothing light, so hopefully we can uh, we can just play the avoidance game initially, and um, maybe if we can get into a barracks and get some weapons or something, then uh, things will change. And then Willux, we're also running uh, in the game world. I've I've done gone to my fallback, uh, double zombies, half items, but this time instead of double evolution, I went four times evolution. So. 
uh, with the, the, the length of time it sometimes takes now to get into the mutation stuff and get all the tools and get all the materials and, and get everything crafted and so on, uh, evolution might actually be a serious problem. So with four times faster than normal, uh, I can't just sit still and let things, let things happen while I, I do nothing. So we'll see. It'll be a bit of a slow burn on the difficulty factor, assuming I even get out of the lab. That's never a guarantee. Why are you hanging out right here next to me, zombie dog? Why are you, why are you doing that? Hmm? All the best. <laughs> hey there, Fertile Creek. Thank you much. And Cotillion. <laughs> Who's got the biscuit? I got no biscuits. I got jerky treats. Jerky treats are what's on the menu. Yeah, well, I haven't done a mutation run in a little bit. I didn't. I, I briefly thought about doing the uh, genetic chaos, robust genetics, but I wanted to be a little more focused in it. Um, I also do really enjoy the uh, genetic downward spiral stuff, but I need to come up with some new gimmick for that uh, to give it some variety from some of the pre previous ones I've done. So we'll see. Eh, you might be inside the uh, central lab complex, Makuru. Central lab complex is uh, like 10 labs smushed together. So if there are lights everywhere, if every damn room and corridor and so on has lights, you're in the central lab complex. <laughs> so that's one of the ways to know. It's also just totally stacked with uh, electronic enemies. So skitter bots and uh, uh, so on. You, you, you'll know. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's talk more directly about this one. Mandy Dwyer, nine nine twelve eight, stacking up the intelligence to try to speed up our skill growth and uh, being able to, you know, do the things we need to do. Um, ah, uh, what else? Yes, we are a lady with facial hair, three day stubble for uh, an afro and a light skin tone. No bionics, nothing else. That, that's it. We're just going to try to become a mouse rat. We must be mouse rat. Uh. <laughs> Some people know what I'm talking about. Mouse rat may or may not have, you know, some tangential but totally not connected source material. Inspiration. Huh. A zombie dog. I think we should get started. Let's go ahead and get started. Just do one last double check here. I want to keep the, uh, the, 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 I've got to at least feed the YouTube trolls that uh, insist on actual gameplay starts. So I need to chat for just a little bit longer. <laughs> it's, I, I don't think it's long enough to trigger them yet. Trigger them into their, 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 their rage state. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit tab. Tab, are you sure you're finished? Yes. Where's it going to put us? In the dark. Okay. Look at those whiskers. Look at those whiskers. Adorable. Raw panties in a subject suit. That's it, huh? All right. Well, let's, let's leave these over here in the corner. <laughs> we'll just roll with the subject suit. What's our dodge? 10.3? 10.3 it is. I'll take 10.3. 10.3 is a pretty good number. Ah, let's do the big check. Are we beneath a research facility? I think the odds nowadays are fairly good. No, we are not beneath a research facility. A <laughs> little teeny town of Knox. The hardware store and three houses right next to the lab. All right, so we got to do the traditional escape. We'll see if we can. I was actually hoping for a research facility myself. Uh, oh, well. Panties off. There are no martial arts to engage. <laughs> I guess I can engage, you know, force unarmed. Uh, we got no martial arts. It's built with martial arts in mind. I got two of them. Either one of the two would be good choice. Either ninjutsu or Zuiquan. 
we're going to be more likely to get a hold of Zui Kwan. So I got specific things I want to do. But places I want to go to uh, really try to level this character up as quickly as possible. But I wanted to start uh, without some of those things, so I wouldn't have to spend the points on them. So Zui Kwan, if you don't know, very, very common drop at recycling facilities. So we're going to try to go get that at recycling facilities. That saves me spending the points during character gen. And uh, there's a shortcut for some of the mutation stuff, too, we're going to try. You got to have a certain... I think you have to have, like, unarmed one to even have brawling show up on the menu. I, I don't remember, but brawling will show up. I just don't have any skill. No skill. First responder handbook. I have no pockets. Do I have pockets? I have none. I have one volume. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll have to leave that alone. So we started in the dissector room. That's actually not bad. We're pretty deep. Three levels deep. Yeah, three levels deep. All right, so to get out, we're either going to need to go get the key card at the bottom or and or some way of dealing with the turret. Lots of ways to deal with the turret. But we'll need the key card or some other method to escape. <laughs> you can feel free to go look that word up, that martial art, and uh, look up the how to pronounces on, on Google. Feel free. Go for it. <laughs> Everybody's always correcting my... Everybody's... Every YouTuber's and Twitch personalities, pronunciations of things, and it always makes me chuckle. <laughs> Nobody knows how to pronounce everything correctly, so, you know. But still, go look it up. I don't disagree with you, by the way. <laughs> don't take me, don't get me wrong. But uh, yeah, when you're when you're talking foreign language stuff, assume the person really doesn't know how to pronounce it, and uh, correcting them is not really going to stick in their memory. So, do to do to do. Hey, we have clean water. Let's go ahead and uh, drink that. We have lost the conduct foodless. So we're in a three by three. Hey, stairs down already. Another dissection. I need pits. I need goo. Where is the goo? Come on, game. Show me the goo. We got no goo. One, more, one, one left? Nope, no goo. All right, we got no goo. We got a downstairs, though. Shall we, shall we go downstairs? Or should we find the, the top, the exit first? Usually in a standard lab, I go up first to make sure I, I know the route to the top. Then I go back down and find uh, find out what kind of finale room. If it's dark, you can just dash in and grab the card and dash out. If it's lit, then you're, you're kind of half screwed. But at least you know your circumstance. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Window breaking tool? Yeah, I don't disagree. <laughs> Book bash is a little better. No, it's it's especially funny when you say uh, Americanized words. There's there's some words like Adidas versus Adidas. So so many Americans will say Adidas, and that's not the pronunciation. <laughs> so. Uh, but so many of them say it that way that it's basically the American version. So, yeah. <laughs> um, let's go. Let's not go. Let's not go down yet. My understanding is Adidas is the correct pronunciation. From people that speak the source language or from the source country. <laughs> CQB monthly? Really? You gave me CQB monthly? I can even carry it. All right. That's kind of funny. Holy crap! <laughs> what kind of lab is this? Uh, they got all the good stuff. Wow. That is the exact book I needed to finish off my, my computer skill. <laughs> if I can just sit here in a corner quietly <laughs> and nibble on some candy or something. 
man. Options. Current world. Item spawn rate. <laughs> ah. Well, that's uh, that's crazy. Uh, crazy luck. We got some soda. We'll take some soda. We've got a toilet here, and uh, we've also got a refrigerator that might have some stuff. Nothing in the toilet. Root beer in the fridge. Let's just, I think, leave this stuff right here for the moment. Can't believe SICP showed up in the second room. That's hilarious! From somebody with six computer skill hoping to get into barracks. Figure 12 intelligence and eight computer skill might do it. The trouble is I've got to get some food and water so I have the time to actually read the book. That's going to take some time. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just being set up. <laughs> Don't misunderstand the situation. Uh, when they're nice to me like this, it's usually right before an unholy, punishing, horrific, you know, circumstance gets unleashed on me. So, ah, unless I, until you see me actually make use of it and make it out of here, that that's somewhat irrelevant. More teleporting. This is an odd room circumstance. Oh, that's right. This is the side room. Never mind. So we got a teleporter. Door door. We got noise. We got another door. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh, teleporter. I thought it was a dog kennel. Good thing. Lots of teleporters. Flu shot? Oh, just a syringe. But we got an exacto knife too. All inventory. Uh, the exacto knife. Don't need a vortex device. Who's making noise? Shuffling zombies. Light battery and some potassium. Ooh, I'll take that battery. useful there so we heard noise north and east come on make noise again hmm let's poke our nose down this way and useful in here for a raw potato, we will eat the raw potato. Sugar beet. Can we eat sugar beets? Minus 10 joy for raw sugar beets. Uh, it's not worth the calories. So we have a water source other than the toilet. I guess Mouse Rat doesn't really care about drinking from toilets. Not a concern. Manhack has... Oh... Pack. Let's see. Man hack with no combat skills whatsoever. And just my 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 subject suit to get chopped up off my body. It's not my character, it's the scientist. <laughs> oh, the fat zombie wasn't even a scientist. Hmm. We're just wearing a subject suit. That's all we got. I want that backpack, even if I have to get chopped up by a man hack. Weird, that thing hasn't detected me. Uh, not moving at all, huh? Whoop, there it goes. Oh, I stepped next to the computer. Um, I could try to get it out of the room. Yeah, let's go this way. Shuffling. Yeah, they're, they're going to break out of there. That's unfortunate. All right, let's just try to get our backpack. Where? Backpack. 
And give me the root beer. We won't try to smash. Wanted to try to uh, hack that computer, but not with a man hack here. Let's bail. We got our backpack. With that, we can pick stuff up. Okay, I think I'm gonna go south. Everything's got noisy zombies up there. I don't want to deal with noisy zombies. Uh-oh. Yeah. Eat that room. Useless damn room. Hey, there's clothes here. <laughs> I totally forgot to come check for clothes. I got focused on looking for the other thing. A jean jacket? We'll wear a jean jacket. Corrective sunglasses. Uh, nearsighted. We're going to take those. Body parts to gnaw on. I don't have the mutations. They're going to let me get away with that yet. A little later, maybe. Really? Both sides of the aisle? Another stair down. Shuffling? More shuffling. Double zombies, so more uh, more zombies in the lab. Um, we're not going down yet. Back in with the uh, chat here. Do, 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 do. Uh, day 61 is the standard start date nowadays. Used to be day one, but uh, it got moved to day 61 when they revamped some of the weather stuff. Otherwise, everybody kept complaining constantly about all the water being frozen and <laughs> all the liquids being frozen at the start. So, day 61 is the standard start date. Maybe it was default 30 way back when, I forget. It was earlier previously, but after they changed some things, they moved it to day 61. So for the late arrivers, there's the character. Mandy Dwyer, the mouse rat. Okay, let's continue our uh, prowl through the beginning of this area. Zombie security guard. I got no good way of dealing with him. Um, teleporter, dissector. Gonna take a few runs through the dissector to get him down. It sh might be worth it. Uh oh. And somebody else is also coming. Who's it gonna be? Stop running. Hey, what? We'll come over here. Get our stamina back. Alright, then we'll pop open the door. Well, that's a little harder to dodge around. <laughs> huh. Huh. Uh... One or two, I wouldn't mind leading into that room and dodging around until they chop themselves up. But four? Uh, I, I might be able to manage it. 
I don't really have movement bonuses, so... Hmm, do we try to do the Dance of Death with four zombie security guards? I sure would like to get their gear. I won't be able to keep them locked in that room. I could bring them into this section, close all the doors, lock them in, and then just wait a while. Over enough time, they would dissect themselves to death, but mostly they'll just wander around these other areas. Um, I think I'll just, I'll bring them in, I'll circle around, and then I'll lock them in this section. We'll see if we can, uh, we can get a little bit of chai, chop, chop suey going on. Problem is, it takes multiple runs across the dissector to kill these guys. They lost track of me, and I can get them in here one at a time. Or even two at a time. So, there's one hit. Almost dead. I just need to get him in there one more time. Oh, crap. Uh, uh, sway. And run. He else jumped in. Oops. Didn't take him long. There's one down. Two down. All right, need to get the guy that's on there currently to step back on it. Can I go between them without getting grabbed? No, I did. Uh, they grabbed me, but I broke it. I broke it. All right, only need one more. One more zapper. Hey, now. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Sword category. Sword category. Uh, Kevlar, dirty Kevlar vest and some wallets. That's pretty much what we got. Well, that's unfortunate. That's hoping for something a little better. Flashlight. First aid kit. <laughs> something else. Huh. Well, we'll pull that aside and we'll pull, we'll just unload the wallets. Come here, you. You sit over there for a moment. Unload. Wallet. Unload wallet. Uh, wallet. Unload. Wallet. Drop all the crap. Don't need, don't need, don't need. Oh, we got some cash cards. That's all I cared about. Smash, smash. All right, so now we got plenty of cash cards for any vending machines we come across. Um, yeah. I don't think I'm going to put the Kevlar vest on currently. We'll, uh, we'll keep it in mind. Take it with us until I run out of space. So that room down there had light, but it also had a couple of zombies. But we can deal with regular zombies with the dissector. Let's go do that. Hey, regular zombie. Come visit me and my pet dissector. His name is Wally. Hey, zombie. Where'd you go? Uh, nothing new and useful, unfortunately. Who else can we bring over to meet meet my good friend Wally? Come on, zombies! Hey, don't don't break the light on your way past either. I'll get a little annoyed if you break my light. tracking me again. Hey! 
<laughs> Sidestepped and grabbed. Bad zombie. Man, really? Oh well. It's hoping for a little better. But that frees up the room. Whoops. Get our stamina back. And the light. Firefighting. CQB. SICP. So there we go. Melee to one. Melee to one. Computer's date. Need to find enough food that I think I can sit still for long enough to actually take advantage of those. Really? <laughs> Not strong enough. Need an object. Uh-oh. Prisoner containment. Damn it. Uh... Hold off on that for now. Well... I should open it, because we can get some easy-to-kill scientists, most likely, in the front area. Computer 6, huh? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I love those. 12 intelligence, computer 6. Fail! Take a shock! <laughs> those things are so dialed up. Ugh. Lots of stairs down. Got a long way to run to get this guy to the dice these guys to the dissector. I could go north that way instead, I think is what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, come get me. I hate it when they lose track like that. Come on. Come on. Stop trying to break that thing. Whoops. Scent cloud brought them to me. A funnel! Wow, a funnel. Just what I always wanted. Man, they're being pretty stingy about the item drops. Bike helmet's not too bad. I just want to get some, some soap. There should be a chance of soap in that room. At least... One more? I think I saw three. I have no tools yet. All right, let's go up to the closet and see if we got some soap. We have soap. We have dust masks. We have no soap. Really? <laughs> Damn it. Um, take a towel. We'll wear a dust mask. Take the thread. That's it. No soap. All right. No soap for us. And we got noise. Um, Mm -hmm. 
Uh, to Kelly Lee, that's, uh, isn't that the, uh, uh, Shoggoth? Sewer water. Oh, another chance for soap. Detergent? Yeah, detergent. Ignore the shuffling. All right, we got some detergent. Let's head back. Now the problem is going to be light in a place with water <laughs> so I can, uh, you know, take advantage of the detergent and the soap. But I have no light capability of myself, my own yet. Let's set up... Let's see. Light in that room. That doesn't help me much. Light up there... Yeah, we're going to keep looking. We're going to keep looking. Yeah, we can make candles from toilet wax, but you can't just magically make the candles light themselves. Until I find matches or a lighter or something. <laughs> Fire making is uh, a bit out of reach. Hi, Sector. A Keltec P3A2 or P P3AT, three bullets, rounds of 380 ACP, huh? Uh, okay, sure. I'll take a gun. You want to give me a gun? I'll, I'll take a gun. And yet another stair down. Awful lot of stairs down. Where is a stair up? Dead end to the east. Okay, another computer I'd like to hack, but we've got a long way to go to get rid of this guy. Whoops, and a man hack again. Bleeding left leg. Okay, that's not good. Damn it, that thing hit me hard. We'd go north, but we can go north from the other side as well, which we're going to do. Come on. Yeah, stepping into those man hacks in those rooms is going to be rough. You can hit me sometimes before I even know they're there. Well, we got a screwdriver. So just gift me a hammer. Nothing in the CBM storage. All right, the alternate three by three. A lot of times there's a dog in this setup. Dog area. Wow, three smoke rooms. <laughs> That's a few more than usual. Machinery room. Nicotine gum, radio, almost no battery. E ink tablet PC. Those don't, do those make light? Just uses the app. Okay, all right. I don't care about that. Well, hey there, standing tank. What fun thing do you have? Bleach? How much bleach? 224 bleach. So we're going to note that. 224 of the bleach. Very important for a mutation heavy run to know where there's a massive pile of bleach. <laughs> Can't pry anything at the moment. No way east. So we're at the east wall.
Hey, finally. Only two? Two pools? Well, that kind of sucks. Two more? How's my subject suit? Still in good shape. There's a few more. <laughs> Just crammed them all in next to each other, did you? Noise to the north. Finally, a stair up. Bedroom. Got what you got? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Duct tape. Whoops. Whoopsie. Uh. Come this way, Mr. Broken Cyborg. That wasn't very nice of you. Will cyborgs and manhacks fight each other? E I don't think they will. A lot of useless rooms. All right, security guard. We can lead him over the dissector. And a scientist. Silly security guard. A lighter! Well, that helps out <laughs> quite a bit. Sneakers! I mean, sneakers. Come here, security guard. Still haven't broken the fence. Oh, now he's out. So, mutated leg. Mutagen! Uh, I'm mildly tempted. I'm mildly tempted. I might be convinced to uh, take random mutagen. You know, what could possibly go wrong? We've got... God damn it. I'm too slow. Speed has dropped. Not wearing footwear. Hey, get over here. Get over here. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Glock with no ammo. Glock, no ammo. Almost well, useful. Let's um let's pull the Glock with no ammo out of the pile at least. So this will work perfectly. We've got an infinite water source. We've got light through the whole room. We've got some resources to use. A uh, chain link fence to, you know, hamper movement of the enemy. And uh, some strawberries and a raw potato. Broccoli. So this is our, our new home base right here. Uh, we'll make... And we'll just set up right here in the corridor. As long as I'm within five, six squares of the uh, the water. All right, drop, 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 keep. Uh, 
backpack for the moment. Um, should we look around some more first? Hmm. Slime pits are one hit KO on everything. <laughs> Maybe not cyborgs. I can't remember ever testing it on a cyborg, but um, I've used slime pits to kill shoggoths and um, skell jugs and Kevlar hulks and everything is susceptible to the slime pit. It's the uh, the great equalizer in labs. Slime pits and dissectors. Use dissectors on the little guys that you want to get uh, gear from. But soldiers are immune to it, so soldiers and up, the tougher stuff, you gotta do the slime pit thing. Nah, there's no genetic chaos in this one. I uh, I don't know what what flyers are in labs. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had opportunity to try to gooify a flyer. There's so few flying enemies in the game to begin with. Genetic downward spiral. I talked about that at the the top of the episode. <laughs> I haven't done one in a while. I always enjoy them, but I need to come up with a theme or a gimmick for it. So, I haven't felt the the desire to to do a GDS run recently. Eventually, but not not recently. All right, so we got some stuff dropped. We've got uh, water available. I just need some wood. I got no good way of getting the wood since I have no no hammer to disassemble and no item to smash. Uh, no easy chairs. There. Hmm. Did they break any wood items in here? They did not. Go ahead and grab the uh, mutagen. Keep looking for a bit. Dream area. Skirt. Nothing else. Another good book for us for a mutation run. <laughs> Computer Science 101. Uh, might need the thermos. Well, that's handy. Another Kevlar vest. So many Kevlar vests. Oop. Nothing else, unfortunately. I'll grab a pillow. Sneakers! Wear sneakers. Ooh, leather jacket. All right, ditch the uh, jean jacket. Unload jean jacket. Goodbye. Actually, we'll keep it for the moment. We we might get the rest of our gear shredded, so I'll leave it up. Scissors. More goo. Yeah, we'll leave the jean jacket up here as a replacement for the leather when it inevitably gets shredded off of me. All right, down to 106 move cost. Better than 113. Forget, was there still stuff in that room to the... There was a man hack in here, wasn't there? 
Yeah, there was a man hack and the cyborg, and then I backed out again. Um, the man hack might not be in that room anymore. It's still in the room. And the cyborg's still here. <laughs> Alright, we'll get an opportunity to uh, hack a map eventually. I'm not going to push my luck. Alright, so yeah, I'm liking this little spot right here. We got uh, a bedroom just south of us we can sleep in. We got water and light. I could actually set up right down here instead. We have access to the water and the light. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll be right on the edge of the bedroom. Perfect. Close the doors, go to sleep whenever I need to. Take advantage of the light and the water for crafting. Good spot. It's a good spot. It's what I look for. I look for a spot where I've got access to uh, sleep, water, and light. So that meets all of my my my, my needs. Um, we don't have a lot of food still. I'm still willing to uh, kind of poke around. I'm getting a little worried about that leg. That uh, damage to the leg is going to start slowing us down. So. No start day delay on this one. Instead of changing the start date, I radically changed the evolution rate. So we got four times faster evolution. So we'll see uh, We'll see bad zombies fairly quickly. And for a challenge where I have to uh, reach post threshold in one category and max out another category with everything except the post threshold stuff, it's going to take me quite a while to do that. So we're going to end up with a lot of evolution as time goes by. Barracks, please. Damn it. Shall we risk a shock again? <laughs> shock me twice, you bastard. Oh, we made it this time. There's our scientist. Uh, you, come on down. Yeah, multiple scientists. You can't catch me. I am Mouse Rat. I have sneakers. Three scientists. Even better. Welcome to my parlor. Come on, I'm over here. <laughs> I kind of feel bad sometimes. Antidepressants, economics and trapper books. Damn it. Yeah, still, still nothing really worth it. Uh, unfortunate. <clears throat> we might get some meds. Oops, there were four scientists in there. And remember, I've got it on double zombies again. Soldering iron. We'll take a soldering iron. Soda. So the only reason I go into these is for the scientists that you just saw. Then there's a small chance of generally possibly useful items over here. Autoclave pouch. Nothing preventing me from doing a microwave burrito. And a soda. And then there's a chance for meds on these shelves right here. We got no meds this time. Well, I'll take both of those as possibilities. Some aspirin is good. And another lighter. Alright. We're having some okay luck so far. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>